guys, this is Maria, and today I want to share with you something I learned back in 1966 when I was in the fourth grade. Yep, I was nine years old back then. So anyways, all you're going to need is a piece of paper, and I'm using a Sharpie marker, but you can use a pencil, a crayon, a pen, anything that writes, okay? So what we're going to do, and I'm doing this from an angle, so I may get a little sloppy here. Um, I'm just going to write the word dog, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that up here. There's the D. Okay, so there's the D. Here is the O. And we need a G. Dog. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the top of the D and I'm going to bring, follow this line all the way around the D and come to the top of the O and go across to the G, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Follow the D down the slope and then I'm going to start right here, go across the O, follow the O, and go across to the G, okay? And so then I'm going to go to the top of the G and I'm going to come all the way down, okay? And so here we go. And I'm going to start coming around this curve. And then I'm going to come down because that's the neck, okay? And then I'm going to go to the top of this D and just go down the D, follow that line, and I'm going to go all the way down, okay? So there you go, you have a dog. And let's go ahead though and fill in his eye. I just thought this was the coolest thing when I learned this back in fourth grade. And I have shared this so many times with other kids and my own grandkids and nieces and nephews over the years and it's just something I've never forgotten. Probably because I have absolutely no artistic talent at all and this was something that I could actually draw. And so you can just go ahead and give him a collar. You can bling it up if you want. You can use different color markers too or crayons or whatever. And so there you go. It's that simple. Dog. Okay, thanks for watching you guys. Have fun with this. Bye-bye.